This video will be discussing embryonic development and germ layers. The stages of embryonic development are common to all animals and proceed through many cleavages or successions of mitotic cell divisions without cell growth, meaning that cells divide into two cells over and over again. So the steps of embryonic development. To start out, a zygote undergoes three successive mitotic divisions to form the eight cell stage. And this process is called cleavage. Cleavage then continues to form a blastula, which is a hollow ball of cells surrounding an empty space called a blastocele. The blastula then folds in on itself, becoming a gastrula in the process called gastrulation. The opening of the gastrula following gastrulation is the blastopore, which is important for the differentiation between protostomes and deuterostomes, which is covered in another video. Germ layers are also created following gastrulation. Finally, let's discuss germ layers. So there are a couple of different cases in terms of the number of germ layers that an organism will have. Diploblastic animals have only endoderm and ectoderm, whereas triploblastic animals are gonna have all three germ layers, and all bilaterally symmetric animals are triploblastic. So now for the actual germ layers. The ectoderm is the outer covering of the embryo and gives rise to the outer covering of the animal in the central nervous system. The endoderm is gonna be the innermost germ layer and gives rise to the digestive tract of the animal. The mesoderm lies between the ectoderm and the endoderm in all bilaterally symmetric animals and gives rise to most other tissues. So the mesoderm is not gonna be present in animals that are diploblastic, but as we've discussed, all bilaterally symmetric animals are triploblastic. And so we can be safe saying that the meso that is where the mesoderm lies in all bilaterally symmetric animals. And the figure on the right is from the Campbell Biology textbook and it is showing the differences between protostomes and deuterostomes, but shows in different colors, blue for ectoderm, red for mesoderm, and yellow for endoderm, the different germ layers and where they are located during the process of coelom formation, which is also going to be gastrulation in this case. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services. Our tutoring center is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson Building. You will find all the details you need about these services on our website, www.baylor.edu forward slash tutoring. You may schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our open business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.